Hey, welcome back. We have a box here and it's not a knife. Let me get into it just off screen here because this box has some private info on it. That is the Demco 8020.5 there that is being used for the unboxing. Let's see if I can do this without destroying this box. This is a decent box here. I'd like to be able to use it again. Sorry for the wait but I hope you appreciate that because it's very easy to waste a lot of money on shipping and drive up prices. Well, look at this. This is pretty wild. <laughs> or labs, lab snacks. I reused this lab snacks box for, let's go. And here's what we got. So, oh, sorry, I have uh, been, let's put this out over here, working on building a couple kits associated with the Oz brand, and this is one of them. Nice packaging. All right, sorry, minute and a half in here. There we go. There it is. Looks like maybe it was never even opened, which is cool. Um, I'm gonna do this really carefully. Sorry for the additional time I've already dragged you on for two minutes here, but I am just gonna be very careful here as I open up the packaging. For the sake of my investment, just in case for some reason I decide I don't like this, because this is the first time I've gotten one of these, which is the Oz Pen. They've only made a handful. I think they only made seven of this particular one. Each one, um, Daniel Osborne's wife creates this uh, handmade uh, pouch, and they're all different, which is really cool. So you don't know which one you're going to get on the pouch. Whoa, that's small. Oh, my God. You're not going to be able to tell from the video just how small this is. Um, but this is crazy. The action's really good. I actually like the action a lot more than the uh, tactile pen. But man, that is tiny. All right. See if I can put this in uh, perspective here for you. <laughs> that is the uh, the tactile uh, pen versus an, uh, a full-size... Oh, I'm sorry. The tactile full-size pen versus the Oz pen. <clears throat> like, you could probably tell even just from the size of the pivots how much bigger this thing is. Um, maybe the size looking at it that way. Really cool dark wash, really cool green anno there. Um, but man, that thing is, uh, quite small. <laughs> Surprisingly small there. Um, I knew it was going to be small, but this is even on another level. This weighs half as much as this. Let's just do a quick little validation of that. So the tactile pen, again, like really my favorite pen. This is my desk pen. It's full size. I got a nice little Timascus, paid an extra 20 bucks for a nice little Timascus bolt on it. And it's good. I've always found this to be a little hard to get out, back out. I guess if you push it hard enough, it comes back out. But I've never quite loved this action. Anyways, that thing weighs in at 1.25 ounces. To compare, 0.65 ounces. 0.6 ounces is half the weight. And what I really like about this is the action, um, particularly the action when you uh, get it out. That's where I've always felt like this one gets a little too stuck in there. Like you have to travel it a little too far down. And then this little ridge here is a little too sharp and just kind of gets stuck in there. And I don't think it's necessary. I don't know if it's because they're trying to keep it from getting pushed out of there because it goes maybe the wrong direction almost. It almost seems like this one goes the wrong direction, which is probably why I like the Oz one more, is that it goes the opposite direction. So when you're trying to go downward, it's a more natural thing for a right-hander. And when you're trying to undo it, he makes it nice and easy. There's not like a really steep step there. So it's really easy to pop it back out. You don't have to do anything, as you can see. It's just like I'm not having to pull down to get it out. And because it's this way, you're not going to something's not going to bump it and knock it out or whatever because your hands, you know, pushing it in, if anything, right? Maybe if you ended up over here and you turned it that way, then then it would. But you're going to go, boom, 
boom, it's pretty natural for this to rest on the correct side of your hand so that that would not happen from <clears throat> what I can tell. Let me apologize, by the way, for my voice. I'm very nasally right now because I have a sickness. Uh, I don't know what it is, if it's a cold or a flu or whatever, but I'm pretty toast. So let me uh, go ahead and clear the scene here a little bit so we can get good um, lighting and focus. And then you can see a little bit of what you're paying for on this Oz pen, because this is crazy, the price that this thing costs. Uh, it's already $215 or $20 in this form, this form factor, plus shipping. Um, <clears throat> and it is just really tiny. Like that's I, I have pretty skinny fingers, and that's skinnier than my pinky finger. Um, I guess this one is maybe two, but it's pretty close. Um, this thing is just tiny. I'm trying to think of, it's like smaller than a straw. Um, it does not feel like a normal pen. That thing is small. Let's see, uh, let me grab something to write on. How about that? Let's stop talking about all the mechanics and see how it actually writes. Um, yeah, I think it uses a Bic, Bic, Bic refill. It writes really well. My handwriting isn't so good. This is definitely small, but uh, I actually don't mind writing with it too much. So it, it's definitely like not so much that it's popping out of your hand or something. Like I was a little concerned it might not even like reach over here properly, but man, it is small. Like I could use another half inch and then I think I'd be more comfortable because I feel like I'm choking way up on the pen here. Um, so it is just a little, a little too small for me, but what I was looking for was something for my backpack for work and, uh, yeah, it could play that role really well. So I think, uh, I think it kind of meets the mark to some degree for me. It's definitely a little quirky in the sizing and stuff. If someone has really big hands, like beyond XL hands, I would like, and I, I wear an XL glove for the most part. Sometimes I wear large like on mountain biking gloves, some brands I wear large, some brands I wear like Fox. I'll squeeze my hand into a large and over time it'll stretch out into something that fits. Uh, my palm is much bigger. I got kind of skinny fingers. So someone with really big fingers and stuff just might find this thing to kind of disappear in their hands if I had to guess. Um, it's, it's definitely small. Um, I don't know any like pen tricks. I guess I know like that one. That one doesn't really work with it, it feels like. I haven't done this for years. This is like from when I was in school or something like that. Um, but I could, you know, maybe like do one of these or whatever. I was not not the biggest uh, flick a pen around kind of guy, but this one would definitely not work too well for a lot of those pen tricks that I think kind of depend on the length of the pen. As you can see, it kind of pops out instead of doing what you want it to do. I guess I just can't do it anymore. That was something I could do when I was younger. Um, you know, all these pen tricks or whatever. So, um, I don't think I have too much more to say about it. Uh, I guess the other question I have is how do you replace the, um, the cartridge? Can't tell if this comes undone somewhere in here. I don't see a seam. So I assume is you undo here and then that pops out and everything kind of comes out. You have to probably undo both of these um, screws and everything just comes out of the pen, the springs in the bottom. That's what I think how this would work because the top here um, does have this, the, the, top, the um, clip covers the top here. So I think that's held in and then you undo that screw and the whole thing probably comes out <clears throat> if I had to guess. But I, uh, I don't really want to take it apart here on this video um, until I decide if I'm going to keep it or not. But yeah, you know, interesting little kit. Definitely on the small side, like super small. It's just hard to express just how small this is. Um, maybe that helps. That's a Torx. It's almost as big around as this is, whereas nowhere near as big as that. I mean, it's really a small pen. I've seen pictures of it, but man, it feels small in person. Maybe if I even turn it this way, it might help um, <clears throat> to express just how small this thing is. It is just a very, very small pen. 
So keep it in mind if you're considering one and like you're getting, if someone's trying to charge you on the secondary $450 and this thing shows up, you're gonna probably be pretty disappointed. Uh, I got this for table plus shipping and I maybe gave him an extra five bucks for being cool or 10 bucks or whatever. Um, but I would not pay $450 for this pen. That is crazy. Uh, now, if you got the matching rosy and you're just going to kit up and it makes you feel good about life, go for it. But I can tell you, this is not a $450 pen. This is, uh, you know, the tactile pen's pretty close to the same quality, I'd say, if not, you know, in some ways better. And it costs $100. And you can go get it on White Mountain Knives, 10% off, 90 bucks. <clears throat> so paying $450 for that, this, uh, you know, that's really a stretch to me. This thing is very, very small. So keep that in mind. All right, that's all for now. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.